primary function of the Holy Spirit in the life of a person who does not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ is to draw them to Jesus. And He speaks to the person based on their background, their intellectual capacity, their spiritual level. The Holy Spirit tailor makes a message not only for the person who is outside of Christ, but for the person who is in Christ. Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is powerful, convicts people of their sin, meaning He shows us where we're wrong. He may speak audibly, a voice outside of your head. He may speak internally in your heart, in your mind's eye. The Holy Spirit will speak to one person differently than He does another person. You can take two different people who walk out of a room where a Bible-believing message has been proclaimed, and you can ask them to tell you everything that the Holy Spirit said to them while they listened to that message. And all of those people are going to tell you something different because the Holy Spirit spoke to them differently because we're all on different levels intellectually and spiritually. In the life of the person who is outside of Christ, God draws them. He draws them to Jesus. The Holy Spirit will speak to that person directly. He may speak to them through other people. He will speak to them through the circumstances of their life. He will do whatever it takes to make it very clear to the non-believer that they need Jesus. He will show them in their mind and in their heart how empty they are and that they need a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to know that Christ loves them, that if they had been the only person to have ever been born, Christ still would have died for them on that cross at Calvary. He doesn't work with everyone the same. He knows what it takes to get the lost person's attention. Is the Holy Spirit speaking to you today? If you're a strong-willed person and you have some arrogance and pride in your spirit, the Holy Spirit may very well allow the circumstances of your life to come up upon you very strongly. You may be in a tragic accident. You may lose someone who is very close to you. Even a hurricane or a tornado could rip through your town and you could lose everything you have. And the Holy Spirit would say to you, now all you have left is Jesus. Why not ask Jesus to come into your heart today and to forgive you of your sins? The Holy Spirit wants the spiritually lost person to open their blind eyes to the knowledge of the truth of the Bible. You're broken and you're hurting. You're confused. But you have this drawing in your heart today. It may very well be that a true follower of Jesus Christ is praying for you right now. And they're praying, Father, do whatever it takes to draw them to your Son, Jesus. Father, make them so miserable that they cannot rest. My grandfather on my mother's side, we called him Papa Rich. My Papa Rich, every weekend, would get drunk with his buddies and they'd bring him home on Sunday afternoon on a sheet. And my grandmother would sober him up with her homemade tomato sauce so he could go to work on Monday morning. And his daughters were Christians. And they began to pray for him. They pray, began to pray for God to do whatever it would take 
to bring George Edward Rich to faith in Jesus Christ. And one night, in the wee hours of the morning, the Holy Spirit sat down upon my, my Papa Rich so strongly that he literally rolled out of the bed by himself and began to cry out to God to forgive him of his sins and be his Lord and Savior by faith. And he responded to that conviction. The next day, after the dust settled, he called my other grandfather, my dad's dad. Papa Harville was a Baptist pastor, Howard Harville. And my Papa Rich said to my Papa Harville, Howard, I just want you to know that in the wee hours of the morning, I made a change. The Holy Spirit spoke to my Papa Rich on his level. He couldn't get his attention any other way. And so in the wee hours of the morning, he literally struck him while he was asleep in bed and pulled him out of that bed. And Papa Rich got down beside of his bed and repented of his sins and gave his heart and gave his life to Jesus Christ. You can do that today. Just be willing to respond to the conviction of the Holy Spirit.